IPT and by the source device, uh, also know how to make a bomb out of the microwave. We can set the timer with bomb which is in it, and the first gets on and it's going to go off. All right, next, I'm going to truthfully discuss something, discuss something that is fucking safe. As it is, it's kind of expensive, you know. Well, in some places it is anyway. But it really gets me to, let's say, if I want to go to a hot dog cart or something, any other vendor to be approved, uh, I'm hoping that they have gloves on. You know, I, I, sat, I sat back one day and I said, you know, I don't know if I want to eat it. So I sat in my car and walked. And this person, the vendor, I grew up on all that. I had a hand in here. One of them was, was out pissing outside of his, uh, of his trailer. And then he come in, he have his gloves off, and put his hands in his gloves. And there he is, going like this. Uh, uh, scratch his balls and picking that stuff. And, and then he puts the gloves back on. Or when somebody walks up and doesn't have gloves on, oh, can I help you? And he's touching the food. The same vendor, I was at another location, um, I was at a discount food outlet, which is a grocery store. And I was over at a bathroom, and I, and I couldn't help but notice that the urine over the floor was something. And there was feces and stuff on the handles, and people were just a fucking clog, okay? They would be shot back in the head in the backyard and come. Well, I heard somebody knock, and they were kind of in a rush. They touched the handle, there was piss everywhere, all they walked in there. And I was sticking shorts on. Well, we couldn't find out if it was a vendor outside, never had a chance to wash the scenes because I was going to say. Well, off through that trade of piss, and most of the people hand the handle and you're in the so handle. It's not like a turn handle, it's a full one because it's an older building, you know. Yeah. People are eating off this. And then I've been in other places, Subway and so on and so forth. You see all these black and bucks flying anywhere, and all this old beef. All they do is they turn around and they just throw it into the rest of the meat, so they notice they take the cheese and put it on the bottom. And you can see that there's a dead bug in there. You tell these people, and they'll pick it up with their hand, and they'll throw it in the garden, and they make so many sales, and you watch the fuck with hands, man. That's just so good. I'm sick and angry, of course. People need to not be fired by putting in strangers in the shop, but they need to be fired. It's gross. Not only that, but it does cause a lot of disease. I don't know if you people are familiar with, but um, basically, daily people get sick and um, die at least a couple times a week. And usually, of course, when it's children, okay? Because the assholes and bitches like this that work at uh, the hamburger place. And all me, touch her crop, picks her, picks her eyebrows out, bites her nails, and she looks crap. I mean, I've, I've seen these people standing outside when I, you know, I go travel to the state. I've seen these people at the back of the restaurant, in the front. What they do, everything they handle, I've seen them go in the trash. And it freaks them apart when I go right in and they start making hamburgers with back and stuff like that. Everybody's eating this. And then when the kids die, elderly people die when they get sick. And some of these people own it. Owners, owners of the police. That's gotta stop. It really does. So I, what I would recommend is if people are if you people are truly really sick of that, or if you don't want your child to die, you know, it's kind of a low blow. But I'm I'm being very serious about this. You should record these people or, or and or confront them. And if they refuse to you know the best way to do this is if they refuse to listen to you, they throw you off, do what I'm doing, put it on YouTube and say, by the way, Mr. Manager, I'm just letting you know, oh, I had an incident recorder and I didn't have to tell you so it's on YouTube. I want to see how fast it could change the tune. Oh, what else did I say? Oh, yes, yes, I worked at a restaurant, a very big restaurant. I'm not saying what the name of it is. You follow me, people? Uh, I was working there for that year, and there was uh, a set of four bins with hot oil, food them were empty. Apparently, food had fallen in there over the years, over the years, it fallen in there. So I opened up the panel black with magnets. And I told the head, the head manager, 